Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You see me live my life every day, girl, so get ready to be bored, you're watching Flaypril. I know that doesn't rhyme, but literally nothing rhymes with Flaypril. Good morning, it's a pool day, cause it's a billion degrees and our air conditioning is broken. It's broken, our air conditioning is broken and it's a million degrees, so I'm going in the pool. Ooh. He's having so much fun. This is the best day of his life. He's obsessed with the pool. Obsessed. Don't drink the water, that's yucky. <laughs> it's yucky. Pool time was so fun. Flynn's taking his nap. And guess what? It's the two year anniversary of me finding out I was pregnant. I found out in this bathroom that is still a disaster mess from my Miranda series. Isn't that crazy? Two years ago I found out I was pregnant in that bathroom. I don't know if I've ever told the full story of when I found out I was pregnant. Basically what happened was Eric and I had decided we wanted to get pregnant and we wanted to be married and have kids and all that stuff. We just thought it was going to take a really long time but that's not what happened. I went off birth control and basically immediately got pregnant and I'm pretty sure I got pregnant on my period which makes no sense but that's a thing. Anyway, what you see on the internet is there's footage of me finding out I'm pregnant. The actual moment where I found out I was pregnant is not, I don't think it's filmed. Yeah, it's not. So basically what happened was I had these little disposable, well, they're all disposable, but these pregnancy tests that were cheap and like, it's like a, essentially a piece of paper that you pee on. And I had a big batch of them because I knew I wanted to get pregnant. So I was taking them every once in a while. And I had just been in Austin, Texas. And when I got off stage in my show on Aust in Austin, te Texas, I was so tired, more tired than I've ever been after a show. I was sweating. I took off all my clothes except for my underwear. And I was laying on the ground and I was like breathing so deeply and so hard. And I was like, Eric, there's, I feel really bad. Like that's, I really need to work out. Like this is so weird, but I didn't think I was pregnant. I just was like, why am I so tired? Why, why did that show exhaust me so much? Why do I feel like I'm gonna die? And then the next morning I was starving. I ate two pounds of brisket and then we flew home. And when we got home, I ordered McDonald's, like Big Mac cheeseburgers. Like I was starving and I just wanted meat. Like I wanted to eat so much meat. I ended up needing a lot of meat during my pregnancy. I craved meat all the time because I had an iron deficiency throughout my entire pregnancy. Anyway, that's besides the point. Then the next day after that is when I took a pregnancy test. It didn't look positive at all. Like it, you could barely, barely, barely see the second line. And it was so faint that I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. I was like, I don't even think this says positive. I can't tell. So I knew I wanted to get another pregnancy test, like a real one from the drugstore and take that before I told anyone. Cause I was like, this doesn't, I don't know if this is working. It's like literally a piece of paper. I knew I was pregnant before I filmed that, but I didn't know. Like it was like, I thought I could be, but I wasn't positive because it looked like it was positive, but it also kind of looked negative. I was very confused. So I didn't tell Eric, I didn't tell Corey, I didn't tell anybody. I went to CBS, I got a real pregnancy test. I came home and then that's what I felt filmed. And that's what you guys see on my videos. Um, Cause I filmed the whole process. If you want to go back and watch that two years ago. What, after I found out though, I didn't run and tell Eric and I didn't run and tell Corey. I didn't tell anybody. Actually, I don't think I've ever told anyone this before. Maybe I did, but the first thing I did when I found out I was pregnant was film a Miranda video because when you find out you're pregnant at least for me it's very different than what you think it's gonna be like first of all I got pregnant way faster than I thought I would but also it's so exciting and so like you're filled with just excitement and joy and love and happiness but it's also like terrifying like it's like oh my god I'm a mom like out of just like that like just immediately your mom your whole life has changed it's so it's really exciting but it's terrifying when I get overwhelmed with any sort of extreme emotion my go-to thing is like to be around family or to work and I didn't want to tell my family yet so I worked and so I made a Miranda video I don't even remember what the Miranda video is I have no idea what the video is or what I said in it but there's a Miranda video up and in that Miranda video I'm pregnant and no one else knew and that was the first thing I did and then I went on a walk with Eric and I didn't tell him we went on a walk and I took pictures at the park because I wanted photos of us together where I knew I was pregnant and he didn't know and it was like our first family photo essentially and then Corey was the first person that I told um because I wanted to tell Eric in a special way so I was prepping to tell Eric later that night and I told Corey first but also I wanted Corey to look at the pregnancy test and tell me if I was crazy because I saw two lines but the second line was so faint and I was confused because it would have meant that I had gotten pregnant on my period which seemed impossible to me so anyway that is like the full story and that day is so insane I can't believe it's two years now that that happened anyway why did I just tell you all that why am I so boring um anyway okay <laughs> I hope Flynn's awake I'm bored and I miss him it is hot 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 y'all Flynn is eating a popsicle he's having mango sorbet popsicle is that yummy yeah. <laughs> yes I yummy <laughs> 
You have to tell daddy how good it is? Yeah, it's nice, huh? <laughs> It's cold, huh? It's so good that he's, it's getting its own dance. It's so good. Yeah, it's yummy, huh? I'm drinking my whipped coffee and we are reading a book about trucks. Yeah, you see the truck? <gasps> What's that? A dump truck. A dump truck, yeah. Oh, dump truck. Oh, dump truck. Whoa, you're drooling a lot there. <laughs> We painted bowls the other day, and I told you in yesterday's vlog that in Eric's bowl, he painted a dump truck, and in it he put, oh, dump truck, because Flynn doesn't ever just say dump truck. He says, oh, dump truck. what do you see? Flynn, look at this. Oh, <gasps> what's that? Oh, uh, bye. Where are you going? You're gonna see the daisy. You saw daisy. Oh. You gonna give her cuddles? Oh, <laughs> he loves Daisy so much. Yeah, you giving her cuddles? Yeah, Daisy. So when we painted bowls, this is the one that Flynn painted yesterday. I painted this one, which has cars all over it. And Flynn, or I mean, sorry, Eric painted this one. It says, oh, dump truck. So those are the little bowls we painted. Yo. Okay, I was putting the baby to sleep and I was cuddling him and I was, going on a DM spree, DMing as many people as I could. It was very fun. So anyway, I can smell that my husband is already making dinner. This is exciting. Maybe I'm not making dinner tonight. Are you cooking? Everyone's very mad at me. For what? Because I didn't show your hair yesterday. Oh yeah, you can't show my hair. Why not? I can't show it yet? I don't know that I want to be seen. You don't want to be seen? I think you look cute. It needed to like settle, and it settled and now it looks good. <laughs> They're all really mad, they really what wanna see you, it. What did you show? I didn't show anything. They're all like so mad that I didn't show you. Did you show all the hair on the front? Yes. Love your, literally, I'm your wrong. inside out whispering. Like you're whispering so soft that it sounds like you're whispering inside your body. Like I can't even hear you and I'm one foot from you. Lovey, can I show your hair? Why not? Okay, you guys can get mad at me, but he's not letting you see his hair. It's not my fault. You can see the back of it. Do I smell the, oh. do I smell the meat or you? I, I, or me? I Apparently him. he's making smash burgers and he wants me to watch, so I'm gonna let you guys watch too. Oh my God, this seems terrifying. Whoa. This is how you make it? Yeah. Use the muscle boo. Oh, delicious. I just bought a bunch of bathing suits. <laughs> because Flynn is obsessed with the pool. And we spend most of the day in the pool now um, because it's too hot in our house. And Flynn likes the pool and we have a pool, so we might as well take advantage of it and use it. And it's good exercise for him and for us. And it's just nice to be outside. And so I didn't really have many bathing suits, so I already bought a bunch of bathing suits. So we'll see if they fit when they show up here. We'll have a little try on haul. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm very tired. I have a lot of work to do this weekend. Uh, a lot of videos to film and edit and things to do, but right now I'm really annoyed because our air conditioning doesn't work. We live in Los Angeles and where we live in the Los Angeles area, it's a very hot area of Los Angeles area. And it is in the high 90s, today it was in the high 90s, which means since our air conditioning is not working, the inside of our house is in the upper 80s, lower 90s, and it's hot. And so we hired an air conditioning company to come and fix the air conditioning. And they came and they were like, great, you know what to do, we'll come back tomorrow and fix it. So then they came back today to fix it, and now suddenly they went to fix it, and now nothing works. So before we had air conditioning on the lower level of the house, and now we have air conditioning in zero levels of the house, and they said they fixed it and left, and we were like, but it's not fixed. So they're like, oh no, just give it an hour. Well, we gave it an hour, we gave it another hour, we gave it another hour, and it still never worked. So we called the company, and we're like, uh, you guys came to fix it, and now it's more broken? And they're like, oh yeah, if you want us to fix it, we can, but it's gonna be $7,000. So 
So you telling me that my air conditioning was working on the bottom floor, is only not working in some of the rooms on the top floor. And now it's not working. You came over to my house and you fixed it by breaking it all. And now you say it's gonna be seven thousand dollars to fix it. And the only way to fix it is by using you and whatever device you have. You are not nice. That's something fun we're dealing with. Um, so now my house is very hot. We're gonna call a few more places. Corey's already a badass mofo. And he's already been like calling places trying to fix this because he's an angel from a land we don't deserve. So he's trying to fix the situation because I can deal with it being hot. I don't really care that much. I mean, we have a pool, like it's not that big of a deal. I just am more concerned about my baby being in a sweltering hot house. So that's why I really want to get it fixed ASAP. So anyway, these are first world problems that are not that big of a deal, but I'm just mentioning to you because I'm vlogging every day. So that's what's going on. So that's been a frustrating thing today. Has that ever happened to any of you guys where like someone comes to like fix something in your house, but then it's more broken or like your car, you know when you go get your car fixed and it's like kind of fine, it just needs an oil change. And then all of a sudden they're like, you need this part that costs $4,000. And they're like, I literally just needed my old oil change and now my car doesn't work. What do you mean? I hate when stuff like that happens. So I I'm curious, has that ever happened to any of you guys? Like our air conditioning was like, just kind of not working on the top floor, but it was working on the bottom floor and now it's working nowhere after they came to fix it. And the guy who came, came to the house, he was like, yeah, I just fixed it, it's, you're all good. It's all should be working now. And then we called and we're like, hey, you said it was all working, it was all good, but it, you did, it's broken. And they're like, oh, that's because you need this part that's $7,000. I was like, $7,000? What a day. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> in my underwear because it's hot. And I will see you guys tomorrow. It's the weekend. I'll probably spend the whole day in the pool when I'm not working because most of the day I need to be working. But that's another thing, oh! I need to film so many videos and this is like the hot, this room gets really, really hot. And this is where I need to film my videos. And Miranda wears sweatpants. Oh, it's gonna be a hot day. It's supposed to be like 96 degrees tomorrow too. Fun! <laughs> it's not a big deal. Everything will be okay. I love you guys. Have a great night. Bye!